The Galaxy S24 Ultra just got a massive camera update, and I've spent well over 20 hours taking hundreds of photos and videos on both the old and new software on two separate Galaxy S24 Ultras, so I could show you guys exactly what changed and just how incredible some of these upgrades are, including some that nobody noticed. For starters, here are two eight second exposure night photos taken on a tripod. When I zoom in, not only does the updated S24 Ultra capture more accurate colors, but it also retains all of the shadow detail instead of flattening out all the colors like before. Samsung improved the brightness of 50 and 200 megapixel resolution photos that have super bright backgrounds. In this picture, the monitor behind me is set to its max brightness and is the only source of light in the room. The update makes me notably brighter, and if you zoom in on my arms, you can see that the old software gave me splotchy red skin, while the new software gives me a much more accurate skin tone. Text clarity also gets a significant increase when taking photos between 30 and 100 times zoom. Here's a shot at 30 times zoom on the old software, and here it is on the new software. If I zoom in on the text, not only will it be notably sharper, but all the noise around the letters has also been removed. However, there are two trade-offs here. If I zoom back out, you'll see that the solid color areas are more noisy and splotchy after the update. And non-text details, like this thumbs up, lose the fine details in exchange for being less noisy. Hopefully, Samsung can improve these areas as well in a future update. At 100 times zoom, we can again see a clear improvement with a lot of the blotchiness around the text being cleaned up. That said, it's still not as good as the 100 times zoom on last year's S23 Ultra. And the reason for this is that Samsung replaced the 10 megapixel 10 times optical zoom camera that was on the S23 Ultra with a 50 megapixel 5 times optical zoom camera on the S24 Ultra in order to get a better picture quality in the 1 to 10 times zoom range. And this improvement can easily be seen in this photo. Not only are the colors better, but the details are sharper as well. And this can really be seen in this second picture. When I zoom in on the window, everything is significantly more detailed on the S24 Ultra. Regardless, let me know if you think this trade-off is worth it in the comments below. Now here's where things start to get interesting. Samsung says they also improved the quote, expression of fast moving subjects in backlit conditions in rear photo mode. Yeah, I have no idea what expression was supposed to mean, but after well over 100 photos of different moving objects with different bright backgrounds, I finally found the improvement, which can be seen in this photo. When an object is moving fast enough, the new software does a better job of de-stretching that object. So what used to be an oval ball is now correctly represented as a round ball. Though it is worth mentioning that the old software would occasionally do a better job of de-stretching. But for the vast majority of the time, the new software was significantly better. In a separate article, Samsung said their zoom functions have been improved. Well, after at least three or four hours of testing that one, including the zoom smoothness and clarity in the photo mode preview, and in the video mode preview, and the actual video recordings, then reviewing all that footage on my computer, I finally realized that the zoom smoothness remains identical between the two updates, and this was just a reference to the improved text clarity in the high zoom photos that I showed you guys earlier. What a waste of time. But drop a like or a comment down below if you appreciate me spending an insane amount of time to make sure I give you guys the most accurate information. <sighs> Moving on. Video mode gets its own clarity boost, which can easily be seen when looking at the rocks in these two videos of a stream. At first glance, I thought the new software was just focusing on the closer rocks, making them more detailed, but the far rocks are also very detailed, so this is just the new software doing a better job of capturing all the details. And this update even applies to 8K video as well. Here's the before, and here's the after. There's a very clear difference not only in the detail, but the entire video is also brighter without being so bright that it loses detail in the white areas. Photos also get an improvement in quality thanks to better color reproduction of skin tones. In this picture, my skin tone is a bit more red on the old software compared to the new software. And if I zoom in on my face, it becomes a lot easier to see. In reality, my skin tone more closely matches the new software. Flower photos specifically also get an improvement in color accuracy and exposure. If I zoom in on the white flower, you'll notice that it has some yellow in it on the old software. In reality, that flower doesn't have any yellow in it and much more closely matches the new software. And if I move over to the yellow flowers, you can really see the old software overexposing and oversaturating the flowers, 
resulting in both inaccurate colors and a loss of detail. Food mode also gets a color treatment, giving us a much more vibrant image, making the food look more appetizing. And in case you're wondering, the real life colors of this salad are about right in the middle of these two pictures. The photo preview screen, which is the screen that you see when you open up the camera app, also gets an upgrade with slightly brighter shadows. In this comparison, you can see the added detail in the dark areas of the keyboard, but honestly, it's a pretty small difference in the vast majority of cases, and you probably wouldn't have noticed if I didn't say anything. And to be clear, this change only affects the preview screen, but doesn't change your photos. The portrait mode preview gets its own update with a reduction in sharpness because the original preview was way over sharpened, and that's really easy to see in this comparison. But again, this just affects the preview of the portrait photos and not the portraits themselves. This has all been great so far, but we're not done yet. If you take raw photos using expert raw mode, the preview of those photos in the gallery app has been dramatically improved. On the old software, the photo became incredibly pixelated when zooming in for some reason, but that problem is completely gone after the update and we now get a much more crisp image. Besides all the camera updates, if you jump into settings, display, screen mode, then tap advanced settings. You now get a vividness slider, so you could choose to have a more natural looking screen, which matches the non-updated S24 Ultra, or you can increase the vividness by one or two levels if you prefer the more saturated colors of the S23 Ultra. And when this slider is all the way up, it really does make a massive difference in every area of your phone, including all the photos and videos in your gallery, as well as in any apps you have installed. And side note, this thing is awesome. And if you want to find out more about it, you could check out this video here. And consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you don't miss more deep dive S24 Ultra coverage. That's it for this tech episode. God bless guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.